So before the video starts, I think it's important to share that something I've been really interested in doing is building a budget gaming slash light editing PC, but I don't exactly have money to blow, so I wanted to create that PC, but then I wanted to try and sell it for either what I made it for or for a little bit more. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. So behind me, I have all the parts that I've gathered for the computer and all of these I've got from either meeting on Craigslist or going into Fry's and purchasing parts that I absolutely needed to get from a store. My budget for this computer was $250, which I feel is more than modest considering most put together gaming computers are at minimum around $500 to $600. So now that you understand what's going on, let's get into the parts. So what actually prompted me to build this computer in the first place is I was surfing Craigslist and I found a 6600K AMD processor on sale for $45. I think this is a great CPU. It has a processing speed of 3.9 gigahertz. It has four cores and eight threads. So great CPU for a great price. And I figured build a PC around it. The motherboard that I have for this PC is an MSI A68HIAC, which is a mini ITX motherboard. Um, it was not on sale. It was $80, which is the retail price, but there was a $15 rebate. And I figured for what I'm trying to do, this is a solid motherboard, it has wireless, and if I do mail in the rebate, technically it cost me $65, which is fine. For the RAM, I have two sticks of Kingston HyperX Blues, each four gigabytes. I got this through Craigslist for $35, which I feel is more than a steal considering used, it's hard to find these, and if you get them new, they're still around the $80 price range, so for getting it for less than half of that used, again, just another good purchase. So for the case, I ended up going with the Raid Max Comet. This was $40 and I feel like it was more than worth it because this case actually comes with a pre-installed power supply and it is only 300 watts, but because the graphics card I'm using is not incredibly power intensive or power hungry, I feel like it'll work out just fine. And for the drive, I have a Toshiba 128 gigabyte drive. Again, this was through Craigslist for $40. Not the best price, but definitely a solid one. And I feel like this is gonna be just fine since I'm only gonna be installing games and not storing anything on this computer. And now that I've covered all the parts, let's get into the build. Something you may have noticed that I didn't cover was the graphics card. The reason being was because originally I thought I was gonna be using a 7850 HD, but when I was building the computer, I realized that the power supply that came with the case didn't have an extra six pin connector that the graphics card needed to power up. So luckily I had a Radeon RX 460 lying around that I bought from a previous Craigslist deal for $55 and it worked perfectly with the setup. Also, the white LED fan that you see in the computer did not actually sell with it, so that is why I'm not taking that into account for the overall total final price. I looked up a couple of the benchmarks online, and one of the first things I saw that was common to use was Firestrike. Um, I put it at 920 1080p, and at high settings, I got an average of about 25 frames per second. It got a score of 4,000, which is definitely not bad, and it's definitely not amazing, but for $275, it's pretty solid performance. So I used to be really into League of Legends, so I thought I'd benchmark with that game as well. So it got around 100 frames per second on average at the highest possible settings, which I thought was pretty incredible considering this is a popular game and if you're looking to play it for $275, that sounds awesome. So in the end, everything that went into building this computer cost me $275. I posted it on Craigslist for 375 and ended up selling it for 350, resulting me in a net profit of $75. Considering this is my first computer build, I thought $75 profit was more than enough for me. Um, obviously, I would have liked to see it go for the full price, but hopefully that's something that I can get around to doing in my next build. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this somewhat interesting. Um, if you did enjoy the video, subscribe or leave it a like. And uh, yeah, just thanks so much for watching.